In this episode of Home Built Workshop, we are building this cool swing arm laptop stand. Hopefully this is gonna help improve the weekly live streams. Stick around. What's going on everyone? Welcome to this episode of Home Built Workshop. I hope you're doing awesome. Today, we're gonna try to solve a problem that I ran into out here in the shop, kind of a shop project. Now, for those of you that don't know, I do a weekly live stream every Wednesday right here in the shop. We hang out for a while, talk about shop projects, talk about what you're working on, what I'm working on, and in general, just have a really good time hanging out with each other. Now, I've been working on transitioning from streaming from the iPad, which I've done for a long time, to using my camera connected to the laptop. Overall, that's gonna provide much better video quality, much better audio quality, and overall, the viewing experience is gonna be a lot better. So I've got that all set up, configured, tested it and everything. Last week when I went to use this setup out here in the shop, I ran into a problem. My shop has metal siding on it and I think what's going on is that siding is blocking my Wi-Fi signal. After doing some testing, I found out that if the laptop sits somewhere in this location, right by the window, that my Wi-Fi is perfect. If I set it over here, it's almost nothing. What I wanna to try to do is make a little laptop arm stand thing, technical term, that will allow me to swing out the laptop, do the live stream while still getting a good Wi-Fi signal, and then when not in use, the little stand can just swing back out of the way. I've got a bunch of scraps here left over from the project I just finished for my daughter. If you haven't seen that, link in the description. I think we can come up with something using these pieces. Let's get started. I'll begin by taking a couple of measurements of the space I think I can mount this arm in. With those measurements in mind, I'll begin cutting down the pieces to fit that space. I'm not working with a specific plan for this project. I'm just kind of creating on the fly, let's call it. There's our laptop arm. Some assembly required. So I think that makes up all the pieces. These we're gonna set aside for later. Right now, I'm gonna focus on the wall mounting bracket and these two little guys. These will get attached somewhere in this manner and these will secure the pin that I'm gonna use to run down through which will let this piece hinge. Here I'm using a 1 and 1 8 inch Forstner bit to drill the holes for the pin. One's going to go all the way through, the other's going to go about halfway through. Now using a 45 degree chamfer bit in my router, I'll lightly chamfer all of the edges. To glue these little hinge blocks in place, I'm going to mock this up using the dowel to line everything up. I'll hold it in place with a couple clamps, then I'll apply the glue and glue these blocks on. No fancy joinery here, I'm just gluing it right to the board that will attach to the wall. I'll reinforce with some screws later. I'll set this piece aside for a little while so that glue can dry and then I'll focus on gluing up the panel that'll hold the laptop. After letting the glue dry on the hinge section, I'll remove the arm and use my belt grinder to put a radius on the inside corners. This will prevent it from binding up as it rotates. This piece too gets the 45 degree chamfer. Now I'm just gonna reassemble this so I can cut the pin. This fits really snug, which I like. If it turns out that it's a little too snug, it's gonna be really easy to sand this down later on. And I've got a piece of a broomstick here that I'm gonna use as the pin. We'll just drop that in place and I can mark where I need to cut it off. Now I'm gonna use the bandsaw to cut this off, but I wanna let you know that using the bandsaw to cut round stock is a really bad idea. If your fingers are in front of the blade and you're trying to hold something, maybe it's a bigger piece or something, 
there is a chance that when the blade touches this round piece, it can rotate it, which could pull your fingers into the blade. This piece is long enough that I feel I can safely hang on to it out here, keep my fingers away from the blade so that if anything did catch, I'm not in danger. So just keep in mind that things can go south really quick cutting round stock on the bandsaw. I really don't recommend it. Next, I'm gonna add a couple holes in the end, which will also use a piece of this broomstick. That's gonna give me a couple of adjustments for the exact placement of the laptop. Well, now the glue's dry on our panel that'll hold the laptop. I've already cleaned up the squeeze out and added the same chamfer around these edges that I used on the other pieces. On the back side, I wanna add a little reinforcement strip. Enter another off cut. We're just going to glue this guy on here right down the center. We'll cut it off flush after it's glued on. This, I'll be able to drill a hole in here and it'll give me a little more glue surface for the dowel as well as a little bit of extra support for these pieces. It just started pouring rain, in case you can't tell. We had a really strong thunderstorm come in while I was doing this, and I caught a really cool sound and clap of thunder. I left it in because I thought it sounded cool. Wow! While sanding everything with 220, I had my branding iron warming up so that I could put the Home Built Workshop logo on it. To wrap this project up, I used the leftover finish from my previous project to put a couple of coats of finish on here and seal it up nicely. Since I know there's gonna be a little bit of friction between the hinges on this project, I applied some paste wax to those areas before assembling to help reduce some of that friction. Let's test this out here just in the vise before we actually mount it to the wall. Set the old laptop on there. That's gonna work great. Okay, that turned out really cool. I couldn't be happier. This thing's gonna work great, and hopefully it'll allow me to get a better internet signal, and also it does give me a really cool spot to keep the laptop out of the way. I don't always have a laptop out here in the shop, but once in a while, it's just handy for certain things. And this is gonna work great, because usually it's in the way on the workbench. I only have so much space, this gets it off the workbench. Hopefully it will allow me to get a better internet connection for the live streams. Hope you guys enjoyed this one. Thanks a lot for watching, and we'll see you next time. Uh...